All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a dice rolling command using Bot Designer for Discord. Um, this is going to be a better dice command than any of the ones that I've seen. And the reason for that is because it is not going to be a set command. So you do not have to make a new command um, for every single sided dice you want to roll. This is going to be an adaptive dice roll command, meaning that you get to input what the maximum is or what sided dice you want to roll. And it's going to roll that. So if you want to roll a six sided dice, it will roll one through six. If you want to roll a 20, it'll roll a one through 20 and it can adapt to any number um, that bot designer for discord can handle, which is any real number. So it's very adaptive. So we're just going to start. You want to create a new command, give it a title. So we're going to call it roll dice. We're going to give it a command trigger. I'm going to use dot D because I already have a dot roll trigger. But we use dot D. You can use whatever trigger you want. Not a D6, just dot D. And then on the command language, make sure that you are in BD script two. So we'll not work in BD script one. So we'll not work on BD script unstable. And it, um, you can do this in the JavaScript, but I prefer just go ahead and use BD script two. Um, so here we go. First, we're going to do no mention command. This is just going to remove any unnecessary ping. Enter. We're going to add a color. This is totally optional, but I always add a color FF6OEA. Close that bracket. And then we can add a title if you would like. So I always add a title to my commands. And in this case, it's going to be dice roll. And I like to give um, my titles asterisks, two asterisks, because that will bold them on Discord. And then we're going to give it a thumbnail. Again, another totally optional thing here. But I like to do this because it's going to show you who is rolling if multiple people are rolling. So we're going to give it a thumbnail, which means that it's going to attach an image to the message that's sent from the bot. And that image is going to be dollar sign author capital A avatar. And close that bracket. So what that's going to do is going to put an image thumbnail and that's going to say, OK, we're going to take the author avatar which means the person that sent this image we're going to use their profile picture as the thumbnail on this bot message and that's just good for if multiple people are trying to roll at once if you're doing a DD, &D, um it keeps confusion out so you know who is rolling or whose role that was it'll just have your profile picture in the message so you can see who rolled we're going to press enter and then of course totally optional i always add a timestamp and Again, totally optional. You don't have to add a timestamp, but I like to add timestamp. And then we're going to double space twice or double enter twice, enter twice. We're going to start with our actual code here. So we're going to do dollar sign var and then opening bracket, capital T temp, semicolon, dollar sign sum, opening bracket, type one, semicolon, dollar sign message and then two closing colons. Now what this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, we're going to be making, whenever this command is run, we're going to make a variable. It's going to be a temporary variable. So after the command resolves, the variable is going to delete. And then that temporary variable is going to be the sum of one and our message. So what that means is it is going to take our message. So if we type dot D six, if we want to roll a D six, it's going to take our message six and it's going to add one to it and make that the temporary variable. So the temporary the temporary variable in this case would be seven. Now, why do we do that? Well, we're going to get to that in a second. Enter twice, do dollar sign description. Open up a bracket. And then you can put whatever you want here. This is how I do it. You could just go straight into the number, but I like to give it a little flair. So it's like you, this is going to be what the bot is going to actually show. So you rolled a, and then I'll do two brackets, D, and then we can do dollar sign message, and then two asterisks like that. And what that's going to do is going to say, you rolled a D, whatever number we put. So if we're doing a D6, it'll say you rolled a D6, and the D6 will be uh, bold. And then double space twice, keeping the description open. It landed on a... I do double asterisk. Now here's what you're going to do. This is going to be the result. Um, so the way you're going to do this is you're going to do dollar sign random. Open a bracket here. Add a one because that's going to be our minimum. Do our semicolon. 
and then do dollar sign var for variable, open another bracket, type temp, two closing brackets, so we close that random command, and then we can do two of our asterisks, and then a closing bracket to close the description command. So what this does is you rolled on a D message. So in this case, it's going to be a D6. It can be any number you input, but we're just using D6 as an example. You rolled a D6, it landed on a random one through temporary variable. So in this case, it'll be one through seven because our message six is getting added to one. That's gonna be our temp variable. And then it is choosing a random number between one and our temp variable, which is one through seven. Now, why would we want it to choose one through seven instead of one through six? Well, if we take a look at the random command on the wiki page, it'll see right here, random never returns the maximum value because its right side is exclusive range. So what that means is even though it's a one through seven or one through whatever number, it will never give you the maximum. So if we just made it so that it um, did a random one through six, the problem with that is we would never actually end up rolling a six because it can't roll the maximum. So we would only ever get one through five on the output. So if we make a temporary variable of our message plus one, then we can get a random one through whatever we input plus one. So in this case, it'll be a one through seven, which means we're actually rolling one through six and that seven will never get rolled. So we're rolling a D six. So we just have to add a one to whatever message we input so we can actually roll the maximum that we want. I literally spent like two hours trying to figure this out, but I finally got it. Um, so you're just going to save this command and then we're going to head to discord. Um, so I already have my bot open here. You can see trifecta bot. This is just a bot that we use with our server. You can see it works if I type dot commands pulls up some of the commands so in this case we'll use our new d so we'll do dot d and then whatever we want so in this case we'll do a six dice roll you rolled a d6 it landed on a three timestamp profile image just to clarify that i'm the one that rolled and of course we can do this several times cool d6 we got a five d6 excuse me d6 a two and I'll just keep going until we get a six. So um, I can show you that it does land on the maximum here. We're getting very unlucky, it seems. Oh, because I'm doing a roll of D5. Well, you can see right here, roll of D5 landed on a five. Um, if we want to do a 20, D20, or I guess a 29, rolled a 19, D20, rolled a 19 again, D20, rolled a 7, D20, rolled an 18, and as you can see, it will never go over the maximum you input because it's rolling between 1 and 1 plus your input. So we're never going to go over 20 because it can't actually roll that maximum of 21. So we could do D1000 and it'll roll between D1000, 269. So that is how you're going to be doing this command. Just make sure you save. Command name, trigger. This is it right here. I'll leave this code in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Um, of course, if you wanted to the in-depth video, here's an in-depth video of how this works if you're more interested in learning. But if you just want the command, here's the command. I'll leave it in the description. And um, yeah, make sure you're in BD script two and make sure you save. And that's all you got to do. I hope you find this useful and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.